Ariadne is a bioinformatics program designed to support Combicult, Plasticell's high-throughput combinatorial screening system. Ariadne has been designed to collate experimental data from all modules of the Combicult workflow, to analyse the results and to produce a comprehensive report of the experiment. In this animation, we will demonstrate some of the features of Ariadne, using as an example a Combicult screen looking at the differentiation of human ES cells to dopaminergic neurons. The navigation tabs along the bottom of the software correspond to the Combicult workflow, which is to say, experiment setup, data capture, data analysis, and report generation modules. The setup tab records key parameters of a Combicult screen and includes a schematic diagram of the split pool matrix. In this Combicult screen, 10 conditions were tested on each of four splits, corresponding to a screen of 10,000 combinations of differentiation media. The components being tested in each condition are entered in the Media tab. Basal media and supplements are chosen from a library by drag and drop, and concentrations are specified by the user. In a Combicult screen, each cell culture medium is spiked with a unique tag that irreversibly attaches to the beads. This enables Ariadne to identify the cell culture history of each bead at the end of a screen. In the Tags tab, a unique tag is assigned to each cell culture media by drag and drop from a list of available tags. The Images tab displays a library of images relating to the experiment. Images can relate either to the assay development, showing the signal-to-noise ratio of the screening as seen by a positive bead, a hit, amongst a background of negative beads, in addition, it is possible to keep a record of each sorted hit. In Combicult, beads bearing differentiated cells are detected using a fluorescence readout such as an antibody, and these hits are isolated using a large particle flow sorter. Bead sorting data is logged in Ariadne. The left-hand dot plot corresponds to bead size. During Combicult over a number of weeks, some beads become aggregated to form dimers or higher-order multimers. Here we gate on single beads, highlighted red, to specify the population that should be sorted. The right dot plot displays the fluorescent intensity value of the monomeric beads decorated with differentiated cells. A sorting gate is set to sort the highly fluorescent bead population highlighted in green, which are individually dispensed into wells of a 96-well plate. Ariadne assigns a bead ID to each hit, and optionally links it to an image of the sorted bead as we saw previously. The data set for further analysis can be defined post-acquisition by altering the position of the sorting gate so that, for instance, only the brightest beads are included in the analysis. Next, the fluorescent tags bound to each hit are analysed by Ariadne, which deconvolutes the cell culture history of each hit. The tags are analysed using a standard flow cytometry instrument and the data imported into Ariadne. First, a control sample containing all tags used in the experiment is used to calibrate the facts, setting gates that allow Ariadne to identify the tags present on each hit. In this experiment, the tags comprise fluorescent microspheres of three different sizes, small, medium and large, and each microsphere size comprises ten discrete populations with increasing fluorescence intensity. Tagging data from all beads is displayed in a list in the Review tab. Ariadne maps the tag IDs from each bead to cell culture media, hence determining the cell culture history. For example, it is clear that bead 304 has been incubated in media 6, 7, 4 and 10. Beads whose cell culture history cannot be determined are excluded from further analysis. For example, Bead 182 is excluded because it has no tags from the third split. In this experiment, we can see that almost 90% of hits were deconvoluted. Ariadne contains a number of analysis algorithms, allowing us to determine the optimal differentiation protocols. The Pathway tab displays all media combinations that led to stem cell differentiation in this experiment. The height of the rectangles is proportional to the number of hits that passed through each medium. The opacity of the linkage lines is proportional to the frequency. A slider bar allows the opacity to be adjusted in order to reveal the strongest linkages. 
Hierarchical clustering of differentiation protocols identifies different families of protocols. In this dataset, two main clusters are identified. The similarity matrix shows a pairwise comparison of all protocols. The brightness of each cell in the matrix is proportional to the similarity of two protocols. The similarity matrix allows us to identify families of highly related protocols, which are often very efficient at directing differentiation. In Combicult, we use a large excess of beads, such that each protocol is sampled by multiple beads. The most efficient protocols therefore return a number of positive beads. The fingerprint analysis tabulates these patterns. For example, in this experiment, a number of protocols returned pairs of hits. Using a split-screen feature included in Ariadne, these protocols can be viewed on the pathway diagram. Certain other patterns, for instance very common media combinations, can also be identified. Components analysis allows us to calculate the frequency with which different media components, such as growth factors, are represented in effective protocols. We can generate histograms from each split, as well as a composite histogram for all splits. Identifying important components that drive differentiation allows us to understand the biology of development. The Protocol Analysis tab enables the cell culture components of top-ranked protocols to be viewed and compared in an interactive manner. Finally, Ariadne generates a comprehensive PDF report detailing every aspect of the experiment and data analysis to support publications and other submissions.